All right. So, we are now in my car, as we can obviously tell, and this is probably one of the worst camera angles that I've ever uh, seen before or used. Uh, sorry, you get to look at me from like my under chin. So, I'm driving to school. Yes, I'm wearing two sets of glasses right now. Hold on, we're making a turn. Here we go. That is why I prepared you for the turn, because <laughs> it's a little bit abrupt. I have a thing to tell you. Catching my uh, double glasses look in the viewfinder, and honestly, I just find it too hilarious. <laughs> so, basically, I just wanted to tell you about the time where my cat decided to try and eat my hamster. Um, yay! So, uh, as of about this weekend, I decided very spontaneously that I should purchase a hamster because I've had them before, and whoop, we went over a bump. And I love them, they're adorable and fuzzy and cute and small. And so I got a hamster this weekend. So, um, I keep her in my office and I keep the door closed because Gatsby is a cat and he's obviously a natural predator for a small rodent, like a hamster. So I keep the door closed. Um, yesterday, I had just finished working out in my office and so I kept the door open and then put Gatsby in another room with that door closed. And I kept my office open so it could, you know, like air out and stuff because, well, you know, I was a little sweaty. So. At one point, I was I heard Gatsby meowing, and I was like, oh, poor guy, I shut him up in the room for some reason. I can't remember why I did that. So I opened the door, I let him out, and, you know, a couple minutes passed by, and I was like, oh, I should probably clean the dishes. So I started cleaning the dishes, washing the dishes, and then I heard a very loud crash. And then it occurred to me that I had left the office door open. Yep. So I run screaming from the sink, Gatsby, no! I run into the office and I see this. I will show you now. Gatsby had decided to scooch her cage off of that desk and crack her cage open just like an egg. <laughs> to try and eat what was on the inside, which of course was the hamster. So I go in and the hamster's fine. She's just chilling. She's actually sticking her head. <laughs> She's sticking her head through a pile of bedding on the floor, looking around like, what? I was just trying to sleep. And then Gatsby is like, you know, in sort of stakeout pounce form and he's just looking at her from a couple feet away like should I go for it should I wait should I go should I eat my prize now or should I play with it so of course I grab Gatsby I throw him in another room and I shut the door and the hamster's fine she was just chilling on the ground I just put her in her ball and she was just rolling around having a great time while I was cleaning up the remnants of her cage so I got it all back together nothing broke actually which is weird there's a huge mess on the floor bedding and food and tiny poop and oh my god it was mm, quite the adventure oh and I forgot to mention that I was washing the dishes because I was about to leave for a meeting so I was definitely late for that meeting that I was going to because I had to save my hamster's life so that is the time uh, when my cat decided to eat dessert in the form of the newest pet of the household. So there you go. That's the video for today. Apologies for the super awkward angle. If you pull out in front of me, I swear to God. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that's everything I have for you today. Um, new and exciting camera angles and a very possibly disturbing story. So there you go. That's my life. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow for Vita 23. All right. Bye.